curtains will be rising tomorrow night on another season of Buffalo Theater. Today, joined by today, we're joined by the Torn Space Theater to discuss their opening show, Lulu. Today, we're joined by Katie Mallinson. You adapted the show from a prior version. Then we also have Stephanie Howe, who Howes, who plays Lulu, and Christopher Evan, who plays Schwartz. Not to be confused with, of course, the movie actor Chris Evan. Correct. Right? <laughs> right. So let's talk a little bit about what the show Lulu is all about. Sure. Uh, Lulu is about a young woman who sort of rises through the social uh, ladder um, through the various relationships she gets into with men and um, the dynamic between them. So when was the original play Lulu written? Uh, it was originally written in the late 19th century. It was sort of developed over 20 years, actually. Um, and throughout the 20th century, it took various forms, um, including the famous 1929 silent movie Pandora's Box starring Louise Brooks, which is probably the most famous version of it that has Lulu. Um, so ours is based off of the original one um, that we, we updated. So when you read the original version or maybe saw a version that you did see, what captured you about the story that made you want to bring it to modern audiences? Well, I think what is striking about it is that even though it's 120 years old, um, the gender politics, the characters, the, the issues that Vedekin, who is the original playwright, um, that he was dealing with in the play is actually still uh, very relevant to today and very and interesting and dynamic, um, which is why I think he's sort of seen a resurgence of late. Uh, if anybody has seen the Broadway musical Spring Awakening, the play that that was based on is also a Frank Vedekin play. So, um, you know, there's a lot of kind of interesting things that are done. Now, Sophia, you play Lulu, the titled character. What can you tell me about your experience in playing her and a little bit about her without giving too much away? Uh, it was super interesting, uh, mostly because Lulu is a shapeshifter, so she lives her life and emulates herself through the people who she's with. And that's really interesting as an actor, just to go through like eight different characters of being the same person, but completely different. And then, you know, tell me a little bit about what people can take away from your character after they see the show. Take away? Uh, probably seduction, lots of like, lots of come hither, how to really seduce people, honestly. <laughs> All right, Chris, tell me a little bit about Schwartz. So Schwartz is uh, one of the many men um, in <laughs> Lulu's life. Um, he's kind of a, he's an artist. Uh, he's somewhat in the, in the beginning of her, her overall arc um, and is, uh, is a bit of an idealist. Um, so you really get to see that kind of form of, of love and relationship in a very idealistic fashion and then the other facets as we go forward. Now we're here in terms like seduction, and you just used the phrase, one of the many men. This is sort of all hinting at this show might not be good for younger audience, right? Right. Uh, we, it's not recommended. It is, it is a bit provocative. It's thoughtful, provocative, and also, you know, provocative. So, uh, yeah, we don't recommend younger audiences, 18 and older, probably. Perfect. So tell me when it's opening and where people can see it. It is opening tonight. Um, so it runs September 18th through October 12th, and it's at Torn Space Theater, which is at 612 uh, Fillmore Avenue. It's the old uh, Adam Miskevich Polish Library. It's got this great bar that you can come have a drink, see the show, enjoy it. All right, well, thank you so much, the three of you, for joining us today. We're going to continue our curtain, week, curtain up coverage later on in the show, but right now we're going to toss it back to Lauren.